it, it actually wasn't even a book when it came to me. I said, you, you're sending me a blog? I said, I know, but it's good, read it. And so I did, and from the first sentence, I was just hooked. It's a gut level thing, you're either inspired or you're not, and every word Andy wrote was inspiring to me. I'm curious, you had never met or worked with Matt Damon before, which is kind of shocking to me. And he said you guys had a very brief meeting about this, maybe two minutes long? I was auditioning fundamentally because Matt was in, but he said, um, you know, you should be aware that I've done a film with Chris Nolan where I'm a guy who's isolated on a planet. And I went, what? I saw what it was, and then I thought, what the hell? So we take our chances. <laughs> <laughs> There was one moment where I looked at a playback of a shot and it was a close up three quarters from the back of me. I was in this big space helmet and you could see a little bit of my face. And I said, Ridley, that is a Ridley Scott frame. And he looked at it and kind of thought about that. And he said, yes, it is. And I said, but why is it that I know that? And he thought about it and he said, it's funny. I'm just trying to express myself as simply and honestly as I can. Spielberg once said to me that you could take the credits off of a movie and he could tell within five or 10 minutes who the director was. And I think that's because when these master directors are expressing themselves, they're really expressing a part of themselves completely honestly and truly, and it's undeniably them. Begin abort procedure. Let's wait it out. Prep emergency departure. We're scrubbed, that's an order. The great thing about the screenplay was that the dynamics were, were fantastic. The pace was great. Dynamics is not about car crashing and jumping off buildings. It really means new information relating to the overall scheme of things in the, in the plot of the play. If you're get, constantly getting new stuff, so we're always ahead of the audience, never behind it, or you don't want the audience with you, you want the audience slightly, you know, tiger by the tail. How do we handle the public? Dear America, remember that astronaut we had a really nice funeral for? Turns out we left him on Mars, our bad, sincerely NASA. Did you always know that the movie was gonna have a lot of humor? It was definitely one of the things that attracted me to the book. You don't see a lot of humor and optimism in sci-fi in general. I don't quite know why that is, but it felt unique to me. And it was certainly something we talked about a lot and how to protect. The, the humor is, I uh, like laconic, dry, sometimes in this instance, gallowsy. And I think galaxy humor is kind of tied to the film that was done, the right stuff. I always connect that in a funny kind of way because right stuff means courage under fire. Courage gets a little bit about pushing back terror, fear, abject fear that you are so isolated, you're fundamentally a dead man. If you were drifting off into space, you'd use a cyanide ball and be gone. But he didn't. So you, if I might see my fingers here right now, that's terror, that's fear, depression, manic depression, and you've got to keep pushing it back out then you can function. So you watch a guy do this, that evolves into humor. It has to be humorous to deal with it. And so it evolves into emotional aspects. And then when he finally thinks clearly, he says, I know how to connect with Earth. Mars will come to fear my botany powers. If you got the words, it's the music. Harry Gregson did the score for this. He's got his baton, he goes tap, tap, all these musicians were London Philharmonic and they just watch him, he goes bam, and they go whoom. They hit the mathematics. And the first play is like, they've never seen it before. They just play. That's what actors are like. If the words are good, that's the music. If you get the music right, say, okay, just read. Do you want to talk about it? No, just read. I want to hear what decisions they're making because I want to see what they're made of. Drew, I believe I heard that, I think it was like the day you turn in your first draft of this, Gravity came out. Yeah. Did that encourage you that you were on the right track or did it kind of scare you? Uh, you know, I got a good piece of advice when I first started, which is anything you're writing at any given moment in this business, you're gonna hear about three other projects that are exactly the same all the time. And if you worry about it, you'll never get anything done. Just concentrate on making yours unique. I'm definitely gonna die up here if I have to listen to any more god off disco music. You have a track record of getting career best performances out of actors. What do you think is, is the secret to working with actors? Uh, don't over elaborate, get a move on. Because a great actor or a good actor, whether he's well known or not, a great actor can be hidden in the woodwork. You just don't know who he is until he suddenly starts to appear. Keep it simple. The great actors frequently just want to hear, you want it faster, slow or medium, faster. Cool. It's always faster. <laughs> Thanks for watching Contenders Conversations. 
click to the left for our conversation with George Miller, or click to the right to watch our conversation with Matt Damon. And don't forget to subscribe to Variety's channel.